Another thing that characterises the Gears of War universe is chest high walls. The two opposing armies have both realised that chest high walls are the key to victory. Every single battleground is littered with chest high walls, everyone's bombs seem specifically designed to reduce buildings to chest high walls. The Locust have developed technology to make chest high walls rise out of the ground, and if all else fails, Mother Nature herself will step in and make rocks fall from the ceiling, forming chest high walls. Hello, Internet. Lieutenant Ellis here with the 299 Scouts, Danger Skills for Dangerous Places. Today, I'm going to be covering barricade supported rifle shooting. Now, we're going to be doing this in the context of the Army's qualification, where you have to shoot barricade supported kneeling and barricade supported standing, but this applies to anybody who has to defend Burger Town or their mom's basement with their rifle. So, now I'm going to be demonstrating this first at combat speed. Then I'm going to break it down by the numbers, give you all those tips and tricks for how to best utilize this barricade, and then I'm going to do it one more time at combat speed. First thing you want to do is crouch down as low as you can go, comfortably. Post off on the ground, then from there you can kick out your legs, lower yourself down to the prone. Magazine supported is authorized for the prone unsupported position. So whether it's prone supported or prone unsupported as far as the clothes goes, you can shoot off your magazine. Now, some people are, like to shoot prone unsupported up on their elbows and they, you know, they've done it their entire military careers. But I'm telling you right now, when you're firing like this, your body is eating all that recoil, that weapon's moving around, and you have all that uncertainty. When you anchor the weapon on the ground, this magazine digs into the dirt. Not only is it a stable platform, just like if you're shooting off a bipod, but when this gun recoils, it helps manage that recoil, keeps everything nice and solid, nice and tight, and on target. If your kit can't currently support, prone unsupported, off the magazine getting this low, fix your kit. Trust me, when people are shooting at you, you're going to want to get as low as possible. You're not going to want to be laying on like all your magazine pouches or this fat admin pouch with your snacks in it. So move your kit around so you can lay flat on the ground comfortably in a prone, unsupported position. So now when we go into our magazine change, you're just going to roll to your right, get your magazine out. If your magazine doesn't drop free, like these don't drop free, make an L shape, strip that magazine out, hang it in, get back in fire your next 10 rounds for this qualification. Magazine change, position change. So now, if you have your magazines in your kit, doesn't matter, don't worry about what I'm about to say next. But if you're the type that leaves all your magazines for your qual out there on the deck, like you're part of an ambush and you're ready to uh, engage all the enemy as they walk past your ambush point, then you wanna make sure you do your magazine change before you do your position change. If you do your position change first, you're gonna come back and have to get your magazine off the ground again. So, once again, roll right. For kneeling supported on the barricade, you want to have your firing knee up. If this was kneeling unsupported, of course, you have your firing knee down, you have your knee going into your tricep, you're getting as stable as you can, as low as you can, and getting setting off your shots. And that's ideal if it's better not you don't have a barricade to support yourself, but if you do have a barricade or a car or a bar, you want to switch legs. If I shoot like this, if I shoot like I'm shooting unsupported, you know, I don't have any of the benefit of the barricade other than this additional point of contact. My elbow's floating out here in space. I'm kind of wobbly. I switch knees. Now I've got my uh, tricep digging against my elbow, bracing against the barricade. Super stable. I can still traverse. I don't want to be straight in line like this because when the gun recoils, it'll push me back and forth. I also don't want to be all weird out of 90 degrees where I don't have that support. My elbow kick off at a 45. That way, I've got the support here, tricep, uh, with my knee bumping into it. I've got stability, and I can still traverse and search my entire sector of fire. Okay. Final magazine change. Position change. Now, I'm too short to shoot off of the top of this barricade. It is This is a regulation barricade, so they provide this little window, and this window is actually a little too short for me. So I see people all the time, they're always crouched down, trying to get accurate shots. Crouch, definitely unstable if you're shooting crouch like this. And kick out one leg, that's not the end of the world, but kick out in a V, set yourself up like a tripod, lean against the barricade, lean into that barricade, and you'll feel how stable this is 
while still being able to traverse the search for your entire sector of fire. Okay, internet, thank you for sticking with me through this class. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. We've been away for a little bit, but we haven't stopped training, haven't stopped doing cool stuff. So lots of schools, lots of uh, new training opportunities. So like and subscribe and uh, put in the comments what you'd like to see next on the video.